Hey there folks, Antar here, and I'm bringing you a UU battle today against LuigiFan1234, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. As you can see, we're both leading off with our legendary uh, Lake Elves. He leads off with Azel, I lead off with the bulkier Yuxi. He's going to go ahead and lead, uh, start off with some Stealth Rocking. I'm going to go ahead and start off with some Stealth Rocking, so we've gotten our rocks up, it's all good. I do see that he has the Hitmon on top, and I'm going to have to worry about the, those Rapid Spins, but that's okay, I do have actually a spin blocker, although I don't really use it that way. He goes ahead and switches out into Heracross here as I just go for the site to see how much damage it would do. Uh, and that's excellent for me. Look at that, I mean, it was super effective. Did not one hit KO because I have no special attack investment, but still is an amazing amount. I'm predicting here him to go for uh, Mega Horn or something like that, and I know that I resist it, so actually that does a lot of damage. So I'm thinking this guy must be banded. I mean, just from that amount of damage, that's crazy. So I don't think I could take another one. I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Blake, my Arcanine, uh, just to take that Megahorn. Luckily, he misses, so that's quite nice for me. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz on the switch, just knowing that it, he doesn't have any Flash Fire Absorbers. I am banded. I just want to do the maximum amount of damage I can. His him on top gets off the Intimidate, and so that's basically going to negate my... Um, my band, but I, it still looks like it's going to be a solid two hit KO against him on top. And once I take out that him on top, my rocks are staying up. So two hits, down goes him on top, and I am one happy camper. Uh, Azelf is going to come back out, and so here at a 140 HP, considering rocks are up, I don't really think that it's worth it to keep my Arcanine around, so I let it die and allow myself to get in a free switch into Tux, my Empoleon. Now, I know that these guys oftentimes carry Thunderbolt, but I'm just not sure that this guy does, and it doesn't look like he does. So, uh, he pops my air balloon with the U-turn, and that's really okay with me. Uh, he's going to go ahead and send out Noctowl as I go for the agility just to get my speed through the roof, and uh, yeah, Agila Polygon is really a great set. It was great in Gen 4, although I never used it, and it's even better in Gen 5 IMO. Gonna go for the super effective Ice Beam, and it actually does a uh, good chunk, but it's not gonna be enough to uh, really do too much. He's got the Whirlwind, which is actually really great for him. Uh, go ahead and sw get swapped out into my Kudzulu, my Tangrowth, and you know, this thing is bulky as anything, so I'm just gonna stay in. Even if he goes for the Brave Bird, I'm not going to care too much because these things don't hit too hard. Um, he's going to actually go for the Roost. I go for the Hidden Power Ice, just I, I was thinking it would do a decent chunk of damage, uh, but it's not going to do anything since he Roosted that turn and lost his Flying Typing. So I'm up to full HP. He's going to go ahead and go for the Nightshade, and I'm just going to, I'm thinking, well, if I can predict those Roosts, I might be able to hit him while he's on the ground with Power Whip or Earthquake, and so I'm just going to stay in for a little while uh, and just see how much I can do to him. Um, he has Nightshade, I'm not really going to want to take too many of those, and at this point I can get, regain all of my health. I go ahead and send out Hugabug. Now Hugabug isn't going to like those Nightshades because it only has 281 HP, but it will threaten this guy out with a super effective uh, stab, Thunder, so He's going to go ahead and send out Tangrowth here, predicting my Thunder, but what he probably wasn't predicting that was that this isn't the standard Scarf set or the standard, uh, um, whatchamacallit, Spec set. This is a Life Orb set, and so therefore I'm going to be able to swap out my moves, and he sees this, and he's going to go ahead and send out his Azelf as Death Fodder. That's the only thing I can assume here, because the Bug Buzz was extremely, extremely obvious. His Azelf is down for the count, and I am happy about that. Um, because that thing is really fast and annoying. Anyway, it's a free switch into Entei. I'm thinking, that's strange. I'm pretty sure I outspeed an Entei. Uh, he goes for the Fire Blast, and I'm like, oh, he's probably scarfed. So, Hugabug is taken out. That's really, you know, it's too bad, but it is what it is. I think I can probably take one Fire Blast, plus he might miss or something like that. So, he goes for the Fire Blast. I really actually should have gone for the Agility, I think, just to get my speed up. But instead, I go for the Skull just to one-hit KO and take care of business. With the Torrent Boost, there's no way that Entei would possibly have survived. So, that's excellent for me. Out's going to come Heracross. I'm going to predict the close combat, switch Tux out, and send out Clank just because it's not going to do anything to him. Now, had he predicted that and gone for the Megahorn and had that Megahorn hit, uh, really wouldn't have been good for me, but as it is, he's going to be forced to switch out. I'm really sure this guy is banded. I mean, it, that's really all I can think. He goes ahead and sends Tangrowth back out, and I go for the unprotected focus punch! 
it's not going to do anything, but I just love doing unprotected focus punches. There's really nothing more fun. I'm actually faster, so I could go for the sub if I wanted to predict. Oh, I do go for the sub. I had forgotten. Um, I was putting the sleep powder here. He goes for the leaf storm, actually. I was not predicting that. Uh, and I actually have enough, he enough health that I could actually make a second uh, sub and potentially you know, make enough subs that uh, he couldn't break them with a leaf storm, but I really don't want to screw around with that, so I'm going to just call back Clank, send out my own Kazulu, thinking that he might not have the sleep powder or might go for something else. He goes for the Earthquake here, uh, so it's all, it's a mix set, which is really cool. I actually am a huge proponent of mixed tang growth. I run a mixed tang growth, although I think mine is a little bit different uh, set than his. He's going to go ahead and switch out into Heracross, printing my Hidden Power Fire, Instead, I go for the sleep powder and uselessly put to sleep his hair across, which now has basically no health. So, uh, you know, he's actually going to withdraw his hair across, which I thought was kind of strange at the time because I'm like, why would you do that? I, I mean, why would you do that? You're down to no, no health. Um, you can't switch back in and not die to stealth rocks. And you have no way to get rid of the stealth rocks. Anyway, I hit his Noctala for super effective damage. I'm going to predict here. I'm going to predict him to roost this turn. So, indeed, he goes for the roost. And so I, instead of going for the Hidden Power Ice, which would do uh, absolutely nothing, I am going to go for the freaking Power Whip. Bam! And I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that health drop. He survives, but with not that much HP. And actually, that range of health, I'm thinking, if I hit him with another Power Whip, even if he's in the air, I can probably KO. Now, a Power Whip has awful accuracy. And, you know, there's a good chance that one of my Power Whips is going to miss. But I didn't want, you know, Earthquake has far less power considering it's non-stab. And I just didn't want to screw around with that. I go for the second Power Whip, take out his Noctowl, and I am a happy camper. Out is going to come his own Tangrowth here. He's going to go for the Sleep Powder and is actually going to manage to put me to sleep. So that's okay. I mean, he can't, I don't think he can really do anything to me. I mean, he, some of these guys have Hidden Power Fire or Ice. Uh, like, mine's Hidden Power Ice. Uh, but, you know, I'm not really... Uh, fearing too much. He does have, it does actually do a fair amount of damage. I guess that was either Hidden Power Fire or Ice. I'm actually gonna say it was probably Hidden Power Fire because that's more common on Tang Growth these days. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking I'm just gonna stay and see what he's gonna do. He goes for the second Hidden Power. Uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm down to 107 and I wake up this turn and go for my own Hidden Power that's gonna be super effective and I don't think he has any investment in his special attack, or sorry, special defense. And indeed, it looks like one more hit from my Kazulu is going to take that thing out. So that's going to be excellent, although he is going to switch out here, oh no, I'm going to switch out here, uh, and go into my Yuxi, and he goes for the Hidden Power. Now this is, an, this is excellent for me because, um, I, even if it's going to be, a two, even with my second, there's going to be a two-hit KO. If he tries to put me to sleep, I have the Chesto Berry, and so that'll be excellent. His uh, sleep powder actually misses, but as I said, I have the Chesto Berry. You would call that hacks, but it's not really. He goes ahead and sends out tank, uh, Heracross here just so he can get the regenerator health back, which is actually, you know, a decently good move. So he sends out Tangrowth, and uh, I am just going to go ahead and go for the Psychic, and at that range of health, I'm thinking it's going to KO, and it does KO, and that is the end of the battle so great game luigi fan one two three four comment rate subscribe and challenge